So on the whole uh, digital gulag, you've got a post on SHTF plan, December 24th, 2022. It's an interesting topic. Um, it's really sad when you think um, just for you to question the election or question anything that's official narrative, but these official pieces of crap of politicians that we have, or you know, you question the World Economic Forum or you know, a certain group of people or you know, the power structure, then, then you're labeled and pigeonholed like you're a domestic terrorist and you're, you're a threat. Yeah, you know, by the FBI. Just by have this precedence in place, to me, is, is treasonous. We need to disband the FBI, the CIA. They're, they're working against the American people. They're the terrorists. People that love freedom, that question things that, you know, that's our right to do so. That's our freedom to question an election or, you know, Republican or Democrat election. Both sides, everybody fucking does it. But if you're opposed to the Democrats somehow, you know, because, you know, the, the FBI works hand in fist with the Democrats, you can't question them or your domestic terrorists. Or you happen to be on the White House lawn you know, for an hour or something, you never even went in the Capitol. And they're going to treat you like you're a domestic terrorist and, oh, it's worse than Pearl Harbor and all this. See, this level of brainwashing, this this level of, uh, of mind control that they're working uh, against the American people, it's just appalling. We need to oust these people. They're a threat to the Republic and everything it stands for. We don't need an FBI. I mean, these people do more harm than good. They're completely corrupt. I mean, they're, con they're targeting conservatives. And it wasn't right when they targeted uh, Democrats. Um, Republicans started, you know, Democrats in, what was it, the 70s or 80s? So nobody should be targeted. Nobody should be put on a fucking list and, you know, these secret lists. Oh, it's for safety, you know. And people are banned everywhere. They use social media as a weapon to uh, silence people for differing, dissenting opinions. Or all dissidents. You know, anybody that's pro-gun, anybody that values the Constitution and the Second Amendment, or, you know, talks about free speech, and they don't want us to have free speech, they don't want us to have private property, they don't want us to have shit, and they want us to just lay down, take the boot up the ass, and let them stomp all over us, and take all our tax money, take all our Social Security money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These people are sick. We don't have freedom anymore in America, as far as I'm concerned, until we get rid of the corrupt politicians. We put in term, set up term limits. They shouldn't be in there for as long as they've, you know, these people are in there for a life, a fucking, you know, 50 years in politics, sitting in. You know, Congress. It's sick. America's turned into a very corrupt country. And, uh, you know, then these Marxists, these Marxists, they use transgender, they use black people, they use it as a tool and a weapon to, you know, take whatever, you know, the, their opposition is saying. And say, oh, well, you're, you're transphobic, you're just a, a racist, you're this and that. If you question anything, you know, if you question 
you know, particular transgenders that are child molesters that use that label transgender as a shield to protect themselves from doing harm to young children. I mean, that's a problem. And recently you had um, a black woman holding a, a like a employee at Walmart at gunpoint and they got, sh and the black woman got shot in the head. Well, she's committing a crime. So yeah, we should be able to question things. I think that's, that's part of being in a free society. But um, to these Marxist asshole elitists, they don't want us to question anything. They just want to subjugate everybody and brainwash everybody. And they're not a great job at brainwashing people. You know, kudos to them. You know, those American people are fucking idiots. I mean, it's sad. But they, you know, they believe what they're told. They don't question anything. They're just, they're just sheep. It's sad. They don't see a problem with censoring people. They don't see a problem with shutting people down for dissenting opinions. It's not harming anybody. You're just questioning things. That's sad. That you're no longer able to question things without them throwing the book at you. I mean... You see what they do to people that expose corruption, like Edward Snowden, or people that talk about, you know, crimes that people from the World Economic Forum have committed, you know, Bill Gates, what he's done to the Indian people, and the genocide, all things he's done to them with the, you know, stuff and experiments. You know, even people like Elon Musk, I mean, he experiments on, you know, animals. On monkeys, you know. So should you be in full support of that guy? Hell no, no way. You know, people need to open their eyes and see that we're living in a fucking dystopia, <laughs> a technological dystopia. And they're trying to create a new uh, utopia, Marxist socialist utopia, where. They can control you down to the very fucking T with this um, social credit score system. And that ties into all this censorship. Because they're going to censor you to the point where they're going to shut off your bank account. If you think the way they don't want you to think, they're going to shut you down. They're going to, you know, not let you buy gas, not let you... You know, they'll shut off the you know, with the smart meters. They can shut off the power to your home. You know, what are you gonna do then? They want obviously they want everybody to be dependent on them. It's stupid and just yes, 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 government, yes, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. <laughs> but you know, that's not gonna fly for a lot of us. I mean. He saw what happened in the Gulag, um, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, the way you know, the communists treated people that they captured, they starve them to death, they go after their families, I mean, it's still going on. Places like North Korea, you defect, and you just listen to, uh, you know, all these, all these people that have defected, it's, it's mind-opening stuff, but, uh, yeah, America, it's a captured country, I mean, it's completely corrupt, we need to really clean house, <laughs> hopefully we can do it peacefully, but, um, yeah, they're trying to stir the pot and get you know, paint people that are conservative or pro-constitution or pro-gun or whatever. Like they're the terrorists and we gotta shut them down. We gotta, you know, shut them down all over social media. That's not gonna work. It's gonna backfire. People are gonna get pissed off. And even though Americans have been brainwashed and they're 
pretty fucking stupid. They're starting to notice that, eh, you know, what the government's doing is, it's, they're being tyrannical, you know, they're censoring a group of people. You know, even just like conservatives or Republicans that kind of, you know, bought into the system's narrative, you know, with all the stuff and you see what they've been doing to people and how they're throwing people away as political prisoners and they're still not giving them a proper trial. This shit just can't fly in this country anymore. You know, we can't allow this to happen. We gotta take this country back peacefully. Somehow. Or we're gonna end up with a civil war, I don't know. Because, uh, the way they're treating their, the oppositional way the Democrats are treating people, it's treating people that you know, didn't take this, or whatever, these groups, like, they're subhuman, and, you know, that's what the Nazis did, that's what the communists did to their captors, or their people that they saw as a threat, so, you gotta be very careful about this, um, censorship and all this big tech crap, because it's gonna be used as a big weapon against we the people, and, uh, I hope there's enough of the good guys and people that, you know, care about free speech and human beings and having liberty that work in big tech that will expose what's really going on with Twitter and Facebook censoring and meddling with, you know, elections and stuff. It's not good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just don't long rant, but, you know, let me know your thoughts, um, America's definitely not a free country anymore, <laughs> maybe it was at one point in time, but slowly it's been so corrupted, and we've got, you know, Chinese agents, and we're just bleeding, we're just bleeding out from corruption, we're just, we can't even hide it anymore, with all these wars, and and you see the reasons why we're even in Ukraine. It's all money racket. It's a money laundering operation, you know, for the Bidens. So, it's a travesty. We shouldn't be any of these fucking foreign entanglements. I mean, it's 